Okay. Wow. Hey everybody. This is uh This is the third review in the review series. Today I actually got some footage to uh place over top of me talking. Hope you enjoy my uh Fortnite gameplay. I'm not very good at the game. Though I'm high level. Uh uh But hey everyone. It's me, Ben Shen Gaming. We're here with a not gaming video. We're here with the third review in the review series. First, on Tuesday, we had The Flash. Then, on Thursday, which was yesterday, uh, we had Hitmonkey. And then the third, and finally, today, Friday, we have Arcane. So, let me get into this. So, first, uh... I was watching The Flash for a couple weeks, and then I finished it. Then I had really nothing to watch. But then I realized Hitmonkey came out. So then I started watching Hitmonkey. I was like, huh, this is pretty good. 25, epi 25 minute episodes, and there was only 10 episodes. There wasn't actually that much to watch. Then I moved on to Titan Season 3, because I watched the first two seasons before, and I wanted to just finish. It's an awful show. Didn't want to talk about that one, though, because... That one's much more mature rated than the other two shows that I watched, where Hitmonkey should really be TV-14, because there's actually not too much that bad things. Then Arcane was TV-14, and then, of course, The Flash was PG. So, here we are. <coughs> the third thing was Arcane. I wasn't actually really expecting for me to watch this, as I never played League of Legends, never got into it. I played Pokemon Unite, which was supposed to be worse League of Legends than I played League of Legends, and I was like, Pokemon Unite is ten times better, but that's just my opinion. Uh, either way. So, here we are. I'm ready to talk about it. Oh my gosh, this show was freaking amazing. This show was so good, and I don't know why. But I wanted, I want this review to be still fair, and I'll still talk about the things I didn't like about the show. But you're not going to hear as much of it as The Flash or Hitmonkey, which is why I did this review. I wanted to do bad, good, great shows. <sighs> okay. B bad was the Flash. We... The seasons got sillier and sillier. The plot wasn't good. They had lots of plot holes. Like, why don't you just punch the bad guy in the face? Instead of, you know, being an imbecile. Or why does your costume look so freaking dumb in season 5? I don't know. But yeah, that, that's that's really truly what all I can really say about the Flash after watching all eight seasons. I'm gonna watch season nine when it comes out, and same thing for Hitmonkey. When season two comes out, I'm gonna watch it. And for Arcane, when season two comes out, I'm gonna watch it. No matter what, these will be the three shows that I reviewed uh, during the month. The month of February. Yeah, 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 2022. Okay, let's get into Arcane. Arcane was a really big surprise to me. I was recommended by The Real Blackout to watch it, and I didn't really f feel like I needed to. I didn't play League of Legends. I didn't really need to know any lore of League of Legends. I was hearing around it's pretty good from... A bunch of different YouTubers, Gigook, you know, uh, Pe oh, Penguin Zero, Most Critical, you know? I heard it was good from those two, and I was like, huh. Maybe I should watch it. Then I really felt like I was drawn towards it. From just watching a bit of YouTube, the animation looked amazing. And that's the first thing we're going to get into. The animation. 
Wow, okay, they did really good here. I really, really liked the animation. The fight scenes animation were great. I really liked when they showed... Uh, like, spoiler here. Uh, when they showed when punching, they broke the bone, like in freaking uh, Mortal Kombat. Like, <laughs> Enough with the spoilers, though. Truly, this show was really, really, really good. It was a top-notch show, as a matter of fact. I would say this is one of the best shows I've watched in all of 2021 to 2022. And there was a lot of shows. But I think what really made this show great wasn't just the animation. The animation was, oh, it was amazing. You also have to account for, uh, you know, count all the other elements that brought it together. Together, okay? So uh, I'm gonna, t we're gonna talk about all the elements here. Element number frickin' one. Okay, element number one. Sorry, number two. We already talked about element number one. That was visuals, you know, animation. The music, gosh dang. The music was so great. It was perfect. They had mu They had the perfect music. And I watch things with subtitles because I can't with watch things without subtitles. But they, I don't know if these songs have been released, but I just want them on a music playlist while I'm playing video games. They, they were called like epic music or... You know, and they sounded perfect for the scenes. They were absolutely great. And I, unlike um, RE386, who was clearly movie-based, I am more of a music-based. I love music. I have made my own song with Armon, you know, the outro song. So I love just hearing music. And oh my gosh, this music was perfect. And their intro enemy come on imagine dragons either way that is element number two the song the soundtrack was amazing number three was the characters the characters were probably the most important part as this really fell with literally every category i'm about to say characters and animation the characters animation looked great they were always they weren't always standing still, looking like a dead robot. They were always doing something to make them feel lifelike. And I know uh, probably a lot of people have said this. Uh, yeah, the animation, it makes them feel lifelike. It, but no joke, it actually does. <laughs> they did such a great job uh, with characters. All the characters were great. I can say... I didn't dislike a single character that had at least two minutes of screen time. Just kidding. Two minutes is too little. Five minutes, I'm gonna say. Five minutes of screen time. I did not dislike a single character. They had great animation. They had great story. They had great movement. And it just fit well with what this show was going for. I've, again, I've never played League of Legends, but I did know that all these, the main characters were from League of Legends. This was obvious, we'll obviously get into that stuff later though. The other good part, this is number, what, this is number five, right? With music, no, this is number four. This is now number five. Okay, um... Story. Okay, the story was... Great, okay? The only things I can say wrong about the story was that, in my opinion, it started off a bit slow. But I think that's what the story was meant to do. It was meant to start you off slow and then bang, whack you in the face in episode four, going bang. Frick you. You thought our show was boring? Yeah. That's how it felt to me. 
it started for the first three episodes I wasn't that interested in it I was wasn't invested yet I was like oh, these are the characters these are the characters and then episode four run rolls around and I was like whoa okay these these are some characters and it all oh, it felt so good all these episodes the characters everything made sense they had a good villain they had a good they had no good good guys all the good guys were not really good they all had every character had their own flaws and i'd say the obviously the the worst the worst you would say the character is or acts would have the bigger flaws but honestly it never felt like that it felt like the bat the worse the character was they had just one flaw that stuck out you know like per se a main villain would usually have the flaw of oh well yeah he's trying to kill everyone the main sort of villain here had that flaw but he also was trying something you know he was trying like in his mind I can understand he's the good guy here and if I was in his shoes he for sure thinks he's the good guy that that's all the characters they all think they're the good person I I just think that was impeccable it was perfect perfect story I just really want to talk about this show <laughs> I'm sorry okay now I'm gonna get into some flaws and then I might get into a spoiler section maybe probably not though I'm trying not to spoil because I actually want my good friend Armazon and other people to watch this show so I won't spoil it okay the flaws of the show there wasn't actually that many that much flaws you know the music was great characters were great story was great what could really tick me off what could really be the only thing that I dislike League of Legends yep I'm gonna say it here I'm gonna say it now League of Legends is the one thing that makes this show worse I can say right here right now if you've seen if you see a character in League of Legends and see them in the show it feels like I, I mean you can say this is a spoiler but it really isn't they you f I just feel like they can't die because Arcane is a prequel so all the characters that are already in League of Legends have no really threat to them they can get injured yeah they per se like one of them can break their arms this isn't a spoiler I'm not saying they break their arm or they don't break their arm this is not a spoiler this is an example if a character breaks their arms and this it can heal I don't know the time gap between the game and the show but it just it just leaves out a great part of what this series was any character could like in Suicide Squad any character could die is the th in the Suicide Squad that's what they wanted to show at the start of the movie they killed off Captain Boomerang they killed off a bunch of characters and they were like ha anyone could die but truly not really anyone died one person died and I'm not gonna spoil who but one person died in not in arcane in the suicide squad uh one person died so it just felt like oh actually two people died but felt like oh okay well really i i mean i didn't really expect it but why would i care <laughs> you know 
the main characters can't die. And it just feels not right to me. I know most stories do this with the immense plot armor, but there's just even less of a threat because you know they live, you know they're okay because they're in League of Legends. But that's really my only flaw, and it's a tiny nitpick with the show. Tiny nitpick, and it's only because League of Legends exists. If you haven't played League of Legends, you would probably enjoy this show just as much as I did, because I never watched this show. If you're a decent human being, of that of course. Uh, this show had great characters, great designs, great everything, and I loved the steampunk style. I actually see less and less steampunk-based things every day, and it was awesome to see something that was steampunk. You know, I usually see medieval, modern, or futuristic, but steampunk is always amazing to see. But that really concludes my review, and I still have a lot of footage left of Fortnite. If you guys want to see more of this footage in the future, I can post it as its own solo video, or I can record an actual video with other people, not just Alex here. Or it might win a poll one of these days. You never know. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, really, it really feels nice to not be on that week or two week break. Um, there should be more videos coming out in the future. My good friend, The Real Blackout, was is editing his own content currently, but he'll he said he would start Pokemon uh, Legend Arceus soon. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that series. Uh, I've enjoyed making it, except for the constant crashing of my capture card. That was quite irritating. But, here we are. I took a long, long, long break off of content to, you know, just do things that I enjoy. I know that must suck for you guys because you guys don't get to watch my content and that must suck because that means I'm gonna do three review videos in one singular week but you know uh, and I know I'm late for all of these things except for Hitmonkey for you Canadians it's not too late because it's only been like less than a month since it's actually come out but Arcane and The Flash I know I'm late to the party but next time I won't be late I like binge watching. I literally comp finished Arcane in a singular day. That I calculated it. That was nine hours. It was really sad, but it was such a good show. You got a decent amount, and they've already confirmed a second season. So have fun, you guys. Uh, see you all in the next video. Bye. I'm just breaking this little bit of s silence with my recording. I just wanted to show a bit more gameplay. Bye.